In this video, we will be seeing how to implement TCP protocol lively by using LabVIEW. To have a general idea about TCP, we'll be, we are showing this flow graph for, for server and client model. In this, we are going to implement TCP protocol. Firstly, we will take a string indicator and we will be adding constant to it we are naming it as server next we need to go to the data communications stream and next protocol select the tcp reason write and close the same data communication as well as protocols in the TCP we are connecting in this this process in this manner we are giving a port numbers to this by adding constant creating a constant so suppose we will be taking a 6000 and another port number as 20000 By creating an indicator for checking the error that we are hiding it, we will be hiding this indicator and we'll making it as an icon. We will be adding constant to it. We'll be for suppose we'll be taking it as hello everyone. And next, we will be going into the structures, while loop, selecting it. In the new VI, we are creating the client model. For this also, we are going to the string path, selecting a string indicator and creating a constant, naming it as a code. And this in data communications, we will be going into the protocols, next into TCP. And for this, there is a change. We need to go into TCP open connection. TCP, TCP RAID connection, RAID and finally TCP CLOSE, CLOSE connection, we will be connecting in the same manner. Error out will be given to the CPS error out. In the same way to this, we are creating an indicator. We will be adding the indicator for our purpose. And giving it as an icon. Next, we are, we are giving the port numbers by creating a constant. The previous we have given 6000 number and now we will be giving it as creating it by creating a constant as 10,000 yeah and next we need to see the output right for this we need to create 
ग्रेट इंडिकेटर डेटा आउट एंड विल बी नेमिंग इट एस डेटा आउट नाउ वी आर क्रिएटिंग द कांस्टेंट टू रीड द नंबर ऑफ बाइट्स और सपोज वी आर टेकिंग इट एस ट्वेल्व एंड we are representing that by we need to represent the red data for this we are creating an indicator and we are naming it as data out and to run it continuously we are using while loop and we are creating a control here See, we have we had got the data out, and now we will run it. See, we are getting continuously hello everyone. So now we need to decrease its speed. We are stopping it. Now we will be adding delay to the client client model. For this, we need to go to the timing next. Wait and next create a constant and next two hundred microseconds and next we need to create a case structure to run it completely so structure case structure mm, so. So default it's fire and next we are making it as replace with tunnels and next we are adding a pause button to it so now we will give our own input for this we need to we need to take string control create a string control and we will we will name it as data input data input 1 and now we will create a case structure For this, we will add a boolean to to change the, to shift the case. We will change it to control. And now, if it is true, this will happen. If it is false. We need to give another one, right? That's why we are taking another string indicator, string control, and name it as data input two. And we will we will be adding it here. We'll make a connection. And we will be changing this into tunnels. Replace it with tunnels. Hello, this is the output of TCP protocol implementation. On the right, we are seeing the client client side, and the left, we are seeing the server side. In the server side, we are giving the input to two inputs: "Hello, ma'am," and "Hello, I am Ali." And the in the client side, that we are seeing the data output. Yeah, this is to stop. This button is to stop the output. This button is to change the output to switch the output. See, by ch by clicking this, we are getting I am Alim, and by clicking this, we are getting Hello, ma'am. Thank you.